As states around the world grapple with the threat of the coronavirus pandemic, fears are mounting in many places for already marginalised and oppressed communities. In Sri Lanka, a region that has seen decades of violent ethnic conflict and continued reports of human rights abuses, the government, headed by accused war criminal Gordabaya Rajapaksa, has taken a militarised approach to dealing with the pandemic. With cases on the rise once more on the island, the rights of the most vulnerable are further at risk. The appointment of the head of the Sri Lankan army, Shabendra Silva, to lead the country's coronavirus response drew widespread criticism. Silva is a former wartime army commander who is currently subject to a travel ban to the United States over his role in overseeing executions of the country's Tamils. Silva's appointment led to a military-enforced curfew being put in place across the island. Armed soldiers patrolled the streets and entire populations were not allowed to leave their homes. More than 40,000 people have been arrested so far for alleged curfew violations, and incidents of police brutality and state violence are rife. Military intelligence officers were deployed and supported by drones and intelligence software to track down those believed to be carrying the virus. Thousands of people were forcibly sent to coronavirus detention centres, and those who refused were hounded by the authorities with their photographs flashed on national media. These makeshift quarantine centres were disproportionately placed in the island's heavily militarised Tamil northeast, despite opposition from the local population. The government's highly militarised response to the current public health crises is a worrying reminder of the island's violent past and repressive policies aimed at controlling the island's Tamil population. You can read more about the Sri Lankan government's coronavirus containment strategy on my blog at the Medact website.